so today on the Volvo 1995 Volvo 940 I'll be replacing the distribution cap and the rotor and um, I took it out once just to look at it and to make sure like just to see what it what we're looking like and the insides were fucked up you'll see the insides were all corroded and, and kind of messed up and this is all beat up I've had this car for five years five or six years and I never changed that I did, just didn't know so uh, today we're going we're gonna to do that and um, these are the tools I'm going to use 10 and an 8 and yep it's a ratchet ratchet one so I bought this because of that it's kind of a bitch to get to so anyways I'll show you how to I'll show you what I do and how to get back there let's use the 8 there's this top one one this one two and there's another one down here and this is what they look like one two three so um the cool thing is once you get it loosened you'll be able to, to finger finger um un, undo it out with your fingers so three of those that one the one on the other side's the bitch to get to i'm gonna be standing in the engine for that okay that was a hot hot day so i was reaching across the whole reach across the whole engine to get to that and if you ever do this job you will you will wonder you won't wonder why i got this the eight ratchet nah, it would be better if it, if it swiveled like this but i couldn't I couldn't find that so Anyways. here she is okay she's, she's all cracked Look at the insides. You'd be able to tell. Um, yeah, it's all just. I've never changed it, you know. Who knows when the last person did? And I invested in this one. It's the Bosch brand. It's like a hundred bucks, eBay. Oh, this all broken. Oh, I get to mess with this later. Okay, that's out. This. Take a picture of this. Take take a picture of everything you do. And, um, okay, that's like that. I'll look back at this video for reference, and I just pulled it straight out. Straight out like this. Difference, right? Now let's put this back in the way that was. back on now if you got fat fingers I'm sorry or if you have a chopped off index finger I'm sorry for you too so uh, um, it'd be easier if you had all your fingers and um, if you had skinny fingers now I can get these going I was leaning on this oh, it's not doing that. okay I can get these going with my fingers break anything I can get these going on my fingers and then I'm gonna use the ratchet to tighten it and I just you know I don't, you know, I, I don't know if that's ever been changed but um that was uh this car is 30 almost 30 years old so it's easier to put in than it is to take out so yeah, I'm just gonna keep keep doing this until it's tight. Okay, everything's in. Fingers crossed. Spark plugs are back plugged in. Rotors in. Caps in. Moment of truth. Now the 
that that's in. Um, uh, you know, it's a good thing I got that fixed, but uh, it's just process of elimination right now. It does that for the first like 30 seconds or so, and then it kicks into regular gear, which, you know, I'm restoring this car, so I think, um, I think it's a step forward, even though I didn't fix it. I shouldn't be too bummed about it. The next step is to replace this. Now this is what AutoZone gave me, and it's not the right part. It's called like the ignition, um, ignition coil, or something like that. So um, I'm gonna replace this with the right one. It just gave me one, and I, and I hooked it up, and it, it just it temporarily worked, but it's not the right exact one. Because the one before was a little bit bigger. That's why you saw there's like tape here. So I'm gonna replace this, and hopefully that is what fixes it. If not. Then we'll keep playing. We'll keep, we'll keep figuring it out. All right. But, uh, definitely glad I could change this in the process. So, uh, anyways, peace out. Until next time, huh?